Hello people. I welcome you all back to the final video in regards to the overall weapons and whatnot of the game. Now, I have done the pistols, or really I've done all of the free weapons that you can get, and done some showcases over here, and so forth. However, it is now time that I go ahead and show to you the Game Pass rooms. Now without further ado, let's jump into the video. To start us off is the military and police room. Off the bat, to the right we have a different type of pistol, the P2TQ followed by the M249, the M4A1, which is located out there, the MRAD-50, a different type of sniper rifle, and the M59A1. To start off our showcase, will be the P2TQ. The P2TQ is a pistol caliber, of course, doing 43 headshot, 29 body, 18 legs. Overall, the weapon itself is pretty good, and although not exactly the opposite choice of the Beretta, it still does pretty well overall. Personally, I would have to put this in a B category since it's similar to the Beretta, but slightly weaker but it also has more ammo so it just kind of gives better overall aesthetic but it is a game pass weapon so it's 50 50. next up on the list is the m249 similar to the cac amg which can be located in gunmaster the M249 does 40 head, 21 for body, and 18 for leg. Now, it, of course, it depends where you shoot, 40, 39, so forth. The, the gun itself is not one that I would suggest using. I've never been a fan of the big guns because of how abusive they can be and the camp worthy of them. But overall, it has good damage, decent fire rate, decent reload time. It looks nice. And I mean, of course, it's the M249. I love this weapon. It's one of my top 10. But overall, I would have to put this in a similar category to the P2T6, being a B. Next up on the list is the MRAD.50. Different from the other MRAD located over there, this does 213 headshot. Seventy body, fifty-eight leg. Now, for how a sniper works, this is one of the top three best uh, game pass related weapons, similar to the uh, if I could find it, the M40, and overall damage. It has decent fire rate, uh, 10 clip, and I mean, it looks pretty nice. It also has a decent lineup in it, but at the same time, it's not advised. If you want to rock something with this, I uh, would go for a red dot. So you can quickly swap and so forth. 
it also has decent penetration, a really good penetration, I mean. It shoots far, and it's pretty accurate for the type of weapon it is. Although, of course, the longer uh, away the person is, the less type of, or the less amount of damage it does. But overall, this is a really good weapon. I'd have to put it as an A slash B category, mainly because, it, of course, although it does have high damage, it's it's just not a preference. It is a good weapon; you can use it, but I wouldn't suggest it. The final gun on this list is the M590. Overall I haven't exactly used this weapon that much, but it does 11 headshot, 8 for body, and then 6 for legs. It definitely is not something I would suggest using. Because different from how the other shotguns work, This one doesn't actually have that bullet penetration, whereas like the Mosberg does. Although it's a decently good weapon, I would have to put it as a C, mainly because it lacks that penetration quality. Now most shotguns can't, but if I also stand here, I would at least still be able to damage the other dummies behind it. So overall, I have to put that as a C. Next up on the list is the nade and fruit guns. Now, this is located within the VIP room. The nade gun, uh, having a similar model to the HK, for both really, is more or less just a remodeled version of the HK. The HK in itself is a very poor weapon. I would not suggest using it. And yeah. The nade gun is uh, an explosive oriented gun. <laughs> As you can see. I'll shoot from up here so you can see. And of course, the nade guns to shoot grenades. Now, how I was able to get a high kill count of NPCs was mainly just AFK farming this. All you have to do is look up at an angle at about right here, a little bit towards this corner. Uh, you can stand around here, or you can stand a little bit back, like around here, at this bomb, and actually aim properly, being about right here. Or if I can actually line it up properly, yeah. I would not suggest the nade and fruit gun for PvP. The only real good purpose it has would have to be the fact that one, it shoots fruit, and b, it's a good farming method for those who have the VIP room. Overall, this is a D. Both of them. Since they're both really the same thing, but just different models. Next up on our list, and a pretty funny addition, is the Nerf gun. An actual Nerf gun. Yes, I forget which type this is kind of based around. But overall, this Nerf gun actually is not that bad. It does 21 body, 31 head, and 13 leg. It's a 25 clip, and it shoots pretty fast. 
the damage and whatnot is really good. Unless, although it's a weird weapon to use, the only downside I don't like would have to be of that sound effect being this. I'm not really a fan of the laser sound effect. I mean, it, it makes sense. It's a nerf gun, why the fuck not? But it's just not really a suggested thing. If you want to play with this, I would probably prefer you to use uh, a suppressor. Because if I was to suppress it, it just sounds so much better. So much better. Overall, I'd have to put this as an A. Mainly because of the fast firing, good damage, and really overall, it's, it was made well. Next up on the list is the Chris Vector. Honestly, one of my favorite weapons. It's among the top 10. I really, I would have to put this as top 20 being at the 13th ranking but it's pretty good either way it is 23 headshot 12 body and 10 leg now the chris vector in itself is a odd it's an odd weapon to say the least it it's good it's got good fire rate or one of the best fire rate, uh, difference from the scorpion and while it's good, it, I wouldn't suggest using this. It runs ammo down too quick. The Uzi uh, is a little bit better for control. Although the recoil isn't that bad with this weapon, you still kind of got to manage it. And... I would not suggest manning it. Overall, I would have to put this weapon as a B. Not the best type of choice. Next up on the list is the Thumper or Bazooka. Really, it's a Thumper or the M32 grenade launcher. It It's an AoE based weapon plus it has the smoke effect which is pretty good and it's similar to like the bazooka it's a good weapon uh, it's good for a weave uh, definitely a third slot that I wouldn't suggest although I'm more of a bazooka fan in this now this is good However, I will explain why I'm putting it at a C rank. Firstly, the smoke can get in the way. It's more like a obscuring of vision, and then of course the smoke trail whenever you're trying to run can kind of get in the way. Alongside, it's got the slowest reload rate out of any of the weapons. And with how it was created, it's, of course, it's meant to be slow. However, there is something that is faster. Again, it's got good AoE. Um, also not a fan of the scope, as you can see, it's just kind of trippy. And then of course, there's of course better options than this. So again, this is out of C ranking. Next up on the list is the Scar H. Uh, this doesn't have an inspect, sadly, but. The Scar H, as you've seen in the 1v1 arena, is not the best. It's good, 
but it does 37 headshot, 19 body, and 16 leg. It runs its ammo extremely fast. It's got a slow reload time. And there are of course better options for weapons than just this. No, I'm not saying that the Scar H is a bad weapon. No. In most cases, the Scar, uh, more or less the Scar L, is one of my top 15, being the 14th place, right above the other weapon, which was Chris Vector. But. The Scar H, eh, this is a really biased opinion, but I would have to put this as a C as well. It's not really the best rounded, yeah, there's a lot of other better choices, but mind you, this is just personal rating. The final one on our list for the VIP room is the Bazooka, one of the most preferred third slot weapon that you can use. It's got fast reload. Faster than the thumper, I do. Its smoke doesn't really get in the way as much if you use a type of suppressor. At least it shouldn't. I'm not sure, uh... Yeah, normally the smoke doesn't get in the way, but it's a stronger damage dealing AOE damage uh, weapon, and it's more accurate than the thumper is, although I'm jumping to increase the range. This is definitely one of the more preferred weapons to use, at least if you have the VIP. There is one exclusion that you can do that is available uh, in one of the final rooms. For this weapon, I would have to put it as an S. This is at a personal opinion and use. Next up on our list, in the World War II room, or really the start of the World War II room, is the flamethrower. Now, this is more or less just to mess around with, but the flamethrower does tick damage over time. It does headshot damage, being 5, and body also being a similar amount. Also doing six at times from what I've noticed. Its tick duration, I believe, is for ten seconds. I'm not sure for the exact amount, but yeah. Uh this is more or less just to mess around with, it's not really meant for PvP. Now you can use it for PvP, but this is similar to like the nade guns. There's so many better choices than this. It also shoots these little pellets. Or depending on where, yeah, there we go. It's weird. Uh, same for the nade guns, I'm gonna have to put this as a D. Uh, it's mainly meant for just yeah. It does not have long range. Even though it may look like it, it does not. 
it stops extremely slow for a, from an extremely far rate as you can see I mean I'm able to hit these guys but I'm unable to hit the other ones again not suggested my personal preference ID all right to start me off or to start us off the World War II variant of the M1911. It this M1911 is the exact same to this one right here. Granted, I of course enjoy this one better. So it is. It'll have the same rating as the second video. And that, of course, was a B, if I recall. The second one on our list is the Luger. Different from the trashy Ruger over there. The Luger does 77 for headshot, 35 for body, and uh, 29 for legs. This weapon in itself quite literally surprised me with how good it was. With eight bullets, it this weapon is honestly one of the better ones in the World War II room. Well, it's not really used as often as you would expect it to be. The Luger in itself has eight bull uh, eight bullets which is perfectly fine I mean, you could easily end somebody in the first two and the fire rate is good and overall it's well-rounded uh, it can be utilized really well looks nice I'm gonna have to put this as an S because honestly it's an amazing weapon overall and they did a good job with this one next up on our list is the first and only automatic pistol that this game actually has the Mosner the Mosner C96 it does 43 headshot 19 body 16 legs overall the Mauser is destructive. It is one of the faster firing rated bullets or guns. It's a sidearm or uh, pistol and it'll look. Yeah, it. <laughs> it gives. It has its own special custom. Uh, custom running it animation which I believe the Deagle also has actually no this one is different in itself just like the Luger I'm gonna also have to put this as an S because it has good amazing firing amazing damage what are uh, recently done reload not that bad drawback the only real thing that I dislike about this is that flash but if you put a suppressor on it oh lord does that change how it is like nothing was there and then if you uh, attach a scope onto it you basically have yourself a godsend weapon So similar to the Luger, the Mazer C96. S rank all the way. Next up on our list is honestly one of the best weapons in the world, the M1 Grand. Of course, this weapon in itself is a favorite among many. <clears throat> However, to start us off, 
He does 73 headshot, 50 body, uh, and 31 leg. Basically, I'll let y'all listen to that sound. Essentially, that sends shivers down my spine each time I hear that. The M1 Ground overall is basically a sub tier type of sniper that you can utilize. Overall, it handles really well, it has good recoil, fast re uh, reload. works like a charm and honestly overall it was designed really well um it also has uh, its own little running animation which is actually a little bit faster than some other game pass weapons i would have to put this similar to the luger and the mazer uh, s rank Another personal favorite, the Thompson. Utilized alongside the M1 Grand in the World War II era, as you can see over there. This weapon is also pretty well rounded, doing 39 headshot, 20 body, and 17 leg. The weapon itself is really good overall. It shoots well, it has a good reload and just with how it was designed it was it was made well however the flash the iron sight and I would have to say the running speed it that ain't the best however uh, a type of fix that I saw that can be utilized is either a red dot, a hollow sight, or a reflex, or uh, I think it was the Echotech, no, or ACOG. ACOG also works, but personally I prefer the, um, the hollow sight. It, it just makes the weapon a little bit better, it doesn't have that wacky iron scope or iron sight and overall as much as I like this weapon I'd have to put it in a A slash B category it's good but of course not every weapon is perfect next up on our list is the STG 44 it does 47 headshot 20 for body and then 20 for leg. Overall, the SCG has decent fire rate. Uh, it's, it's knockback is questionable. It, it isn't that bad of uh, controlling, of course. It's pretty simple to utilize. And uh, again, it's personally not my favorite. It's the slowest out of all the World War II weapons. And it has good damage, but I, I'd have to put this as a B. Because the sometimes the iron sight itself is not accurate. And that flash, it, it just is really distracting. So overall, A slash B. Also, the reload is kind of slow. To finalize is the MP40. Although I have not shown the Car 98, I have showcased it in yesterday's video. Now, you can also get the Car 98K within the Gunmaster here, 
after killing a certain amount of zombies, if I recall. However, the MP40 does 49 headshot, 34 body, and 21, uh, 21 leg. Overall, the MP40 is decently well rounded. It does good damage, decent fire rate, decent reload rate, and its recoil isn't bad. The iron sights are also on. They're also accurate. It also does 50 uh, if you're closer to the person, or it, I guess it depends since some areas are like 49, so, like right there. Overall, the only real downside that I have about this weapon would have to be that flash. But overall, I'd have to put this as an A, or really an S, but... Of course, there are better choices. Alright, to start us off is the classic shotgun. Yeah, for those OGs who come across this video, like myself, may probably remember this model. It's interesting to see, yes, sadly it does not shoot out bricks like before. I know I was mad when I found that out, but the classic shotgun. It is 11 headshot, or I think, uh, 11 body, 12 headshot, 7 leg. Hell, it uh, was really confusing. Overall, uh, this is mainly just, uh, it's a thing in the classic Roblox room. I wouldn't suggest it, and uh, I would have to put this as a C. It's not the best, similar to the military and police room. It doesn't allow for the penetration like the Mossberg or the, I think the Winchester or the Spaz. And not exactly the best choice of weapon. So uh, it has to be as a C. Next up, the double barrel shotgun. Similar to the uh, double barrel shotgun in here. Same model, just different. This is 12 and 11 for headshot, while the normal double barrel does the same. Overall, both are the same weapon, just different models. Both are deadly, and both are well versatile. Same position as the normal double barrel shotgun. And on to the next one. Next up on the list is honestly one of the worst sniper models in this game. I. This also doesn't shoot a brick out. I apologize. Of course, similar to like other snipers, it has decent penetration. It does 214 for body, being a bit better than the M50A1 and the MRAD.50 caliber in the military police room. It has decent reload, it does 70 for body, 58 for leg. Overall, uh, the reload as well, it, it's decent. It doesn't really have a, a flare or flash. It's not accurate, but it, it's alright. I'd have to rate this probably as a B.
decent, but not the best. Next up on our list is the classic pistol. Pretty sure for those OGs, you also know what this model is from. Widely used in old games like Survive the Killer and whatnot. Or it really, it depends, but this pistol does 55 for headshot, 28 for body, and 23 for the leg. Overall, it actually is a pretty well-rounded weapon. Uh, I would more or less prefer the uh, pistol in there or the Beretta over this, but this isn't that bad at all. It's got a decent fire rate, decent reload rate. It's got a similar reload to the, I think, the Glock. Now, one of these weapons, or the Ruger maybe? No, I guess it's its own reload. Unless, ah, uh, no, it's similar to the Beretta. Overall, the classic revol uh, pistol, I'd have to put it as a solid A. Now, before I accidentally shot the classic revolver, I would like to mention two things. The classic revolver is similar to this revolver here. 105 damage, 105 damage. 31 body, 31 body. 26 leg, 26 leg. Same reload animation. Same reload animation. Overall, same rating as the revolver here. It just has a better look overall, at least for the scope. It actually has a solid scope than this. And it's just kind of easier to aim down. Next up on the list is the alternative to the bazooka. Although Personally, I wouldn't suggest this one, unless need be. The classic bazooka. It has a sniper scope. It actually shoots a brick, although it's reloaded in that, which I don't know how a brick turns into that. It doesn't have the smoke, which, thank god, it, but overall it's decently well-rounded, of course it's meant to be a explosive AOE, right, the base thing. A thing that you can do as well is remove the scope, I think? Never mind, I don't think you can. No, you can't. What you can do is add a 8x scope or that 16x scope which is in there. Also I would not suggest doing that unless you're trying to go for that thing. Also the rocket itself is decently accurate. As you can see, decently accurate. It does kind of move to the left or right, depending on where you aim. Good AOE. I'd have to... I'd have to sadly put this as an A, Probably a A slash B to low B. A really high B. Mainly because it isn't the best choice. It's got a slower reload rate. And you can't even click it. As it says 1 like you can the other one. So yeah, I wouldn't suggest this B ranking. To finalize us with the list for the VIP room, 
or not a VIP room, but the classic Roblox room, is a classic paintball gun. 31, 45, and 19. Sadly, this is not a automatic, which does suck. It, the one thing that I do like about this is that it does have the green, blue, and red in terms of the bullets, at least for uh, some things. It's It's alright, well, overall, I wouldn't suggest using it. Uh, I'd have to put this as a B as well. Mainly because of just... There are better choices. Some honorable mentions that I would like to point out are the three melee weapons, or really four, but three melee weapons within the game. The first one being the spiked baseball bat. And yeah, the, this is all it does. Same for the crowbar. Uh, two hits, two hits. And then my personal favorite would have to be the classic sword. Mainly because... I mean, come on. Overall, this actually is better choice than the other ones, since this actually has longer range. As you can see, I'm able to hit them from longer range. Also, yeah, it, it's just a better choice, if, if it, like if you want to use a melee weapon here. Although I wouldn't advise against it, it is just something fun they can do. Another thing is uh, the red and blue spray paint. This is literally all it is. Like this, this is literally all it is. Yeah. That's all it is. I don't even know why it's got a reload animation. And then the thing that I've mentioned in there. The 16x sniper scope. Now for sniping it's not the best, as you can see, I would not suggest it. It's not exactly accurate, it looks ugly, and just... Overall, it's like, come on. A beautiful weapon like this turned ugly. What is what has the game done to it? Now this... Looks better. There we go. Yes. Three honorable mentions I would like to point out is the P90, the PP12 or PP19 Bison, and the Scorpion. All of which are submachine gun based calibers. The P90, honestly, being one of the best weapons ever created. The Bison, being another one of the best weapons created. And the Scorpion. I also, another good weapon created. The P90 has always been among my top five, being in the fourth place. And the Bison, top six. Being, of course, number six in the rating. I would have to 
suggest using the P90, the Bison, and maybe the Scorpion for just just out of messing around in the free for all or with friends. They're fast shooting weapons with decent overall damage. As you can see, decent damage, decent reload time, and fast firing. All of which would have to go in A ranking. I will not be putting A ranking below in the description, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you do, if you would like to point anything else out or show you anything else, please feel free to let me know in the comments. And I hope you all have a good day. Stay safe out there and please don't let yourself fall in line with anything bad. Stay fit out there.